My dear brothers and sisters in our Lord Jesus Christ, when we look at the baptism of Jesus, we are told that the heavens are parted. And this is an invitation to really look back at the Old Testament and see where else did the waters part. The first parting, of course, happened with the Red Sea. But more importantly, it is when Joshua leads the people across the Jordan, the Jordan parts and they enter into the Promised Land. Now, this is a very important episode of the Old Testament because this marks the entry of the people into the Promised Land. And who is the one who leads the people into the Promised Land? Joshua. Joshua is the one who commands that the priests carry the Ark of the Covenant. And as the feet of the priests carrying the Ark of the Covenant, which is God's presence, touch the waters of the Jordan, the waters part and the Israelites cross dry shod across the Jordan into the Promised Land. As we fast forward and look into the New Testament, we have a new Joshua here, Jesus. The Hebrew word for Jesus is Yeshua, which means Joshua. And so here is a new Joshua leading a new people, a new Israel into a new promised land, the promised land of heaven. And so Matthew takes pains to explain this to us as he gives us the same descriptions. When Joshua and the priests were carrying the Ark of the Covenant, when their feet touched the waters of the Jordan, the waters part. But here, when the new Joshua, Jesus, who is the eternal high priest according to the order of Melchizedek, when he enters the Jordan, it is not sufficient that the water should part. But the heavens are rendered, they are torn open, and the Holy Spirit descends upon him. What is Matthew trying to tell us? That just as Joshua led the people into the promised land of Israel, the earthly promised land, so now Jesus leads us to the heavenly promised land. He brings God's presence into our lives. And so when you look back at your own baptism, this is what Jesus has done for you. By tearing the heavens open, he has brought God's presence upon each one of us. But more importantly, in and through our baptism, he gives us a share in that divine life. Keep that life safe. Keep that grace safe. I invite you, dear brothers and sisters, month after month to join me on this discovery of the scriptures. Read the scriptures, enjoy the scriptures, let the scriptures nourish you and be filled with all that God has to offer. God bless you.